We're all human, and everyone falls victim to a silly mistake every now and again. If you're lucky, the camera isn't rolling to immortalize your embarrassing lapse in judgment. However, it's 2022, and cameras are everywhere, ready to catch people at the height of their most idiotic choices. Today, we'll be looking at seven of the dumbest moments to ever be recorded. Fireworks can be dangerous and destructive, and are best left to professionals. Yet every year, a new story crops up starring someone who managed to cause harm while having a bit of fun with fireworks. In America, some states allow amateurs to fire off pyrotechnics with abandon. But in New York City, where our story takes place, fireworks are technically illegal. On the night of June 24, 2020, Damien Bend and his two friends were taking a risk by releasing fireworks in the driveway of Ben's Brooklyn home. But they never imagined it would go so epically wrong. One of the fireworks manages to shoot undetected through an open window on the first floor of his own property. Incredibly, they don't see the bright explosions that follow or the fire that ignites soon after. And somehow the homeowner doesn't even realize his house is on fire when he goes back inside to get even more rockets. This guy clearly needs a bigger sign. By the time the burning room is noticed by anyone in the group, it has become a destructive fire with flames bursting out of the window. A feeble attempt is made to fight the fire with a garden hose, but it is too far out of control. Eventually, firefighters arrived on the scene, needing 12 units and 60 people to finally extinguish the blaze. Bend has since been arrested and charged with arson in the fourth degree for his role in destroying his own dwelling. You have to be pretty dumb to shoot a firework into your own property, but you've got to be really dumb to not even notice as it turns into an inferno right next to you. Most people assume that once the cops have you in custody, it's really difficult to escape. Images of concrete walls, steel bars, and locked handcuffs readily spring to mind. Sometimes, though, if the people are dumb enough, the simplest escape plan works out. In October 2018, then 17-year-old Quantrell Schwartzlow from Wisconsin was arrested on suspicion of assault. After refusing to be interviewed, the teen changed his mind as he was being led to jail and is shown into an interview room. The officer is smart enough to lock the door when he leaves, but he must have been absent the day they taught locking windows at cop school. His handcuffed suspect quickly assesses the room finds the unlocked window, and within seconds, he dives out head first. Since he was on the second floor, it's estimated that he fell some 12 to 16 feet to the ground below before the outside security cameras captured him sprinting away at top speed. The careless cop returns 14 minutes later and curses as a perfectly timed gust of wind alerts him to his shockingly dumb mistake. Police found the escapee later that day still in Janesville, three miles from the sheriff's department, and took him back into custody. In 2019, Schwartzlow pleaded guilty to felony assault and felony escape and was sentenced to four years in prison and four years of extended supervision. If you're a cop and you're going to leave someone you've just arrested unattended, making sure they can't escape really should be second nature. And if you're a criminal planning an escape, at least try to hide out in the next town. 
Since this not-so-great escape, Rock County Sheriff's Office has fitted metal grates to the windows, so this dumb mistake can't be made again. An infestation of cockroaches will make most people want to reach for something to obliterate them. But most of us engage our brains before we do anything drastic. Not 48-year-old Caesar Schmitz. In October 2019, his wife was begging him to do something about the roaches that had taken over their yard. Caesar had already tried to exterminate them with a poisonous spray, but it only made them retreat further down into an underground nest. Home security footage from the couple's home in the southern Brazilian city of Enias Marques shows his second plan go disastrously wrong. If you're wondering what made his garden erupt so dramatically, it was because Caesar had first poured gasoline into the hole. He cautiously throws the first match into the hole and steps back. Nothing happens, so he throws a second match and misses. Finally, his third match goes in, and suddenly, the lawn explodes. Caesar jumps back as soil and grass flies in every direction. Caesar and his dogs were fortunate to escape unharmed, but unluckily for his wife, the cockroaches reportedly also survived. It's disappointing when you order something online, wait for it to arrive, and then find there's something wrong with it. But not even getting the chance to unbox your goods is infuriating. In 2020, 43% of Americans reported being victims of package theft, and a quarter of Americans now use home security devices to protect their deliveries. In January of 2018, a home security system captured one porch pirate get her just desserts. A UPS delivery man leaves three packages on the porch in Bothell, Washington. Soon after, a black car creeps around the corner, slowly passes the house and then returns and stops in front of the lawn. A woman gets out of the passenger side, runs to the porch and snatches the boxes. She attempts to make a quick getaway, but is taken out by the wet grass. We don't know if she believes in karma, but it sure believes in her. It's not clear why the fallen porch pirate doesn't get up until another camera shows her raise her leg. Her ankle is so severely injured that her foot dangles off her leg and points the wrong way. Her partner in crime soon comes running to her rescue. The Seattle Seahawks fan pulls her off the ground, scoops his arm under her leg, and carries her awkwardly back to the car. But this hero isn't done yet. He goes back to grab the dropped packages. When the homeowner arrived home and found her mail missing, she reported the theft. One of the stolen packages was a box containing $5,000 worth of medication that her insurance only partly covered. Police quickly identified the thieves as 37-year-old Alicia Treat and 39-year-old Brian DeVere. After a weekend as wanted criminals, the dumb duo was found and arrested at a nearby motel. 
The packages were recovered, along with another $350 worth of mail they had taken from another house the same day. Using a wheelchair, Alicia appeared in court on January 31st and pleaded guilty to the thefts. But her fall didn't steer her away from crime. In June, a warrant was put out for her arrest after she failed to show up in court to face the charges. She was then captured again and ordered to pay restitution and spend 58 days in jail. The homeowner posted the video on Facebook with the title Crime and Karma, and it soon went viral. Even though Treat and Devere did leave the residence with the packages that day, we think we can all agree it was far from a clean getaway. Sometimes in life, the timing is just perfect. Law enforcement in Seattle, Washington, got to experience this beautiful serendipity in the spring of 2018, when they were able to easily apprehend a pair of thieves fleeing the Soto Costco. Luckily for our viewing pleasure, they got it all on their body cameras. He's just waiting for him to come out. Yeah. He's just gonna run out with his laptop. Yep. You guys setting up a little uh, theft scheme, huh? Costco employees recognized the criminals from previous shoplifting events and quickly called the cops to tip them off. Since the pattern of these particular thieves had been to rush out the fire escape with the stolen goods in the past, officers made their way to the emergency exit. Boxing in a black Toyota that appeared to be the getaway car, the cops first seized the 18-year-old driver and began to interview her. Other officers surrounded the emergency exit doors and simply waited for her accomplices to emerge. Didn't work this time. Sure enough, as an internal alarm blared, a 30-year-old man and 21-year-old woman burst through the emergency exit with boxes full of merchandise worth about $2,200. The main items pilfered were computers and vacuum cleaners. The man was arrested and booked in for robbery due to also being in possession of a concealed blade, while the two women were charged with theft. Sometimes all you need is to be in the right place at the right time. Oh, and it helps to have adversaries who aren't too clever. To cap off our list, we have a video that highlights how one mistake can lead to another. We're sure you've all had those days where you miss your alarm, burn your tongue, and hit every red light. Well, this is one of those days for a would-be criminal. Though he seems to have everything he needs to make the crime happen, this man fails to pull off his robbery thanks to his own stupidity. After ensuring that the single female employee he can see is the only person inside, the man goes in. Dressed in a Denver Broncos sweatshirt, baggy pants, dark sunglasses, and a baseball cap, he strides confidently towards the counter, and the store clerk moves forward to greet him. Then it all goes embarrassingly wrong. As he approaches the clerk, he attempts to pull his gun out of his pocket, but fumbles the weapon, sending it over the countertop. While he feebly attempts to hop the counter to retrieve his firearm, the store clerk beats him to it. 
thwarted, the man flees the shop in a panic without his gun, and his pants fall down. Aurora police reported that the weapon retrieved from the scene of the would-be crime was a BB gun. Despite a $2,000 reward, it appears this bumbling bandit is still at large. There were some truly brainless people on this list, and we hope you liked our picks. Which one of these clips was your favorite? Let us know in a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to see our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.